Hey, what's going on guys? Today I want to take a look at the Xiaomi Mi Max 3 and the Honor Note 10 from Honor or Huawei. Now neither of these phones are out yet officially, so that's why you're looking at a screen recording and not the phone itself. So we're going to start with the Mi Max 3. As you can see, I got it pulled up here on GSM Arena. This one was actually announced. The Note 10 has not been announced yet, but the Max 3 was announced two days ago on July 19th. Today's the 21st. It's supposed to release uh, are expected to release later this month in China with a global variant coming soon and possibly even a pro variant of the phone, which we'll get into here in a second. Now, big things with the phone. It's a huge phone. Very nice, 6.9 inch display. It's going to be 1080p, so just fine resolution wise. It's actually what I prefer because then, I mean, you're pushing less pixels, you get better battery life typically. So, perfectly fine with me. 6 gigs of RAM, 128 gigs of ROM on the top end model. We'll get to that here in a second as well. And a Snapdragon 636. Now, the 636 I'm not thrilled about. Um, I've got an 845 right now on my Mi Mix 2S. But that said, if you've seen anything on the Redmi Note 5, that's got the same processor, same skin, still Xiaomi. But everybody that I've watched, they say, hey, this phone's just super smooth. You know, Xiaomi skin is relatively light. The phone just runs really smooth. So as long as everything runs smooth, there's not any hiccups or lags, I can deal with that. And it's supposed to also help provide phenomenal battery life. Uh, one of the cool things about the phone, it does have a headphone jack. I don't know if that says it here on this page or not, but it does have a headphone jack. So nice little touch there and then USB-C for charging. Hopping over to Xiaomi's official website, this is in Chinese, which I can't read, so I've got a Google Translate pulled up here. Here we have the 4-gig uh, RAM, 64-gig ROM variant for 1,700 won. That's about 250 US. The variant I just mentioned, that's 6 gigs of RAM, 128 gig of ROM. That's, I believe, 2,000 won or $300 US. Now, I pulled up the Google Translate for this top part here, which is one of the things I'm kind of uh, interested to see. We see that the key thing, one hand can hold. And that, that interests me a lot because the phone is a 6.9 inch phone. Going back here, looking at the dimensions, if you were to draw this on a piece of paper, it's a, it's a pretty big phone. It's not super wide, but it is very tall. I believe this is the tab. Yeah, this is from their actual press release. You can see the back is kind of rounded. So it should help make it easier to hold, round at the edges. All this press stuff, they've got women holding the phone, which I thought was surprising because women's hands are typically smaller than men's. And especially when you talk about people from China, which is where the phone is announced, they're typically shorter or smaller than Americans. So even smaller hands. But there you go, a woman's holding the phone and it doesn't look ridiculous in her hand. We'll have to see once I actually get my hands on the phone itself, but that makes me excited. One of the nice things about a 16 by, or I'm sorry, about an 18 by 9 aspect ratio versus the 16 by 9. It makes things like this possible without the phone itself being enormous. Now to briefly touch on the Note 10, the Note 10 hasn't been announced yet. As you can see here from this poster, it's supposed to be announced uh, at the end of the month, end of July, July 31st, so 10 days from today. And the global variant is supposed to be announced towards the end of August. I don't remember the exact date but towards the end of August is when it's supposed to be announced in Berlin, I believe. Now, since it hasn't been announced yet, all the specs are completely, I guess, guesses, to put it politely. It should have the Kirin 970, it's the same chipset that's in the P20 and the Mate 10. That chipset is just fine. Uh, we'll get back to that here in a second. Up to 8 gigs of RAM, 128 gigs of ROM. That's pretty standard on Huawei phones, and I'm, I'm guessing... It's only up to 128 gigs, and I say only because this is their flagship chipset at the moment. I would assume that it has an SD slot. Maybe not, but that's that's at least my thought. And the battery up to 6,000 milliamp hours. So popping back over here, we've got up to 6 gigs of RAM. This chip is the 636. The Pro variant of this phone that's released, or they're uh, presumably going to be released, is going to have a Snapdragon 710. Now, as far as performance goes, the 710 and the Corinne 970 are pretty comparable. I'm not a fan of benchmarks, but as far as the raw performance that they can output, 
they're they're pretty similar. That doesn't take into account the skins themselves, and they both have great skins, very well optimized. Xiaomi's in particular is very light, very feature rich, but very light skin. And that's not a knock on Huawei. Huawei skin, I'm I'm a fan of. It's pretty well done. Just I like Xiaomi's a little bit better. So they should perform pretty pretty equally if this one comes out with a 710 and if the Note 10 is actually launched with the Corin 970. Now 6,000 milliamp hour battery here. Back over here, 5,500. Probably going to be pretty similar performance wise if I had to guess. Depends on kind of the standby drain is what I would imagine. The Note might be a little bit better though. Here's the, here's the kicker with this. Both going to be 6.9 inch screens but the Note is rumored to come with a Samsung AMOLED panel. Probably 1080p, but an AMOLED 6.9 inch screen versus the Max is an IPS 6.9 inch screen. I don't recall who makes the panel. I, if I had to guess, I would say it's Samsung, but I can't confirm that. Now, big knock against the Note. There might be a Rolls Royce edition, which would be cool, given the back of the phone there. This is supposedly a real picture. The back of the Note is supposed to be glass. Now, I hate glass on the back of my phones. I, I can't stand it. I, I think it's the, the dumbest decision that somebody can make as far as what, what to put on the back of a phone. And the reason I say that is glass scratches really easy and it's very fragile. I could care less about uh, uh, wireless charging. I really don't care. Once you have fast charging, I think wireless charging just kind of goes out the window because you're used to charging your phone so quickly. Now, the Note 10 is rumored to come with uh, Huawei or Honor's new 40 watt fast charging, which is supposed to be in, insanely fast. I mean, it's a, it's a new charging technology. They're supercharged already very quick, so I'd imagine it's pretty quick. <laughs> the Mi Max 3 can charge from 0 to 71% in an hour. So again, crazy quick when you consider the size of the battery. Very, very fast charging on these phones. Now, this is a hands-on, again, allegedly, of the Note 10, and you can see the Honor branding over there on the right side, side-by-side -side a Nintendo Switch, which has, I believe, a 6.2-inch display, and the Note's a, a 6.9, so you can kind of see the difference there on the, the overall screen size, uh, overall size of the phone, now 18 by 9 versus what I believe is 16 by 9 that's why the, the Switch looks so much taller, but that kind of gives you an idea of what the, the Note 10 is going to look like. Now. It's a picture. I mean, it's a picture. You can't read it too much. The colors look very saturated. I would guess that isn't actually an AMOLED panel, but I guess we'll have to wait and see. So, the reason I brought these two phones up specifically, massive screen sizes. I mean, huge. They're both going to be 6.9 inch displays, 18 by 9 aspect ratio, with very thin bezels there on the, the sides. Let's jump back over here for a picture of Xiaomi. Very thin bezels there on the sides little bit of bezel on top and bottom, which I'm fine with because when you think about the keyboard, especially if you've used a bezel-less phone, when you get down to the bottom row where the space bar is, it's really difficult to use if you don't have any space there at the bottom, if the keyboard is actually at the bottom of the phone. On Android, it's less of an issue because you've got that persistent bar there for you know recent apps, home and back. On the iPhone 10, they don't have that, so Apple just has white space there at the bottom and it looks awful. It's it's functional but just looks hideous. So top and bottom bezel having a little bit there doesn't bother me one bit. Now Huawei's cameras are pretty solid. The Xiaomi's are decent too. The Max 3 is supposed to come with a camera that's in the Redmi Note 5. It's the same spec, same sensor, so should be decent. Nothing groundbreaking but should be plenty good for most people. Versus the Note 10 it's probably going to come with a dual camera setup. It's supposed to come with, I believe, a 24 megapixel selfie camera. I mean, this is going to be the new flagship. And that's the big difference here on these phones. This one's going to be a flagship. My guess would be anywhere from five to $600 US once the global variant is released, which we'll have to wait till the end of August to see. And the Mi Max 3 is not a flagship level phone. I mean, the top of the, the top of the line one right now is 300 bucks. Even if, they, even if they do one with a Snapdragon 710 and were to put a different camera in there, I think it's still going to come in at under $400, maybe 400 on the nose. But my big thing is, is the price difference going to be worth it for the Note 10? Now, the reason I did this, this video comparing these two phones specifically, I know a lot of you guys probably aren't too up on Honor 
or Huawei and Xiaomi because they're not in the States and, and that's where I'm at. I imagine a lot of you are too. But they're making some killer stuff. If you're on AT&T, if you're on T-Mobile, if you're using a prepaid SIM, something like Straight Talk, where you're using T-Mobile or AT&T Towers, you can really save a lot of money by going with one of these devices. That doesn't have to be one with the massive screen, but their skins are phenomenal. The phones are super smooth. I mean, the specs on the inside are, are pretty pretty darn solid. I mean, the Corinne 970 is not Snapdragon 845 level, but it's good. And the 636, again, obviously not 845 level, but it's supposed to be very good and very smooth. And I plan on getting at least one of these phones to test, you know, in person, in real life. Uh, the glass back on the Note 10, unfortunately, will probably be a deal breaker for me. But again, we'll have to wait and see. So anyway, guys, with the, the new iPhone coming out, it's supposed to be 6.5 inch screen and the Note uh, 8, I'm sorry, Note 9, only supposed to be a 6.3 inch screen. The screen size is getting bigger and bigger and coming becoming more and more mainstream seems to be you know, growing in popularity. So if you really want a phablet, a multimedia device, if you do a lot of video watching or web browsing, you want a big screen on your device, and you want a big battery to go along with it so you don't have to charge the phone daily. You can probably get away with charging it every day and a half or two days. These are a couple good options for you to take a look at. So, like I said, Mi Max 3 already been announced in China. It's available for pre-sale right now, but it's not out yet. Um, I'm not sure how that's going to work here in the U.S. I haven't looked into the bands too much yet because I'm expecting a global release here very soon. And the Note 10 will be announced officially here in about... Uh, 10 days, 10 days from today, so it'll be a week from Tuesday, um, so July 31st in China, and we'll probably know the actual specs of that and have an, a better idea of the price range to see, okay, well, if these phones are coming in under 500 bucks, is it even worth it to buy the new iPhone or to buy the, the Note 9 from Samsung? Probably not, but we'll have to wait and see. So again, guys, I'm really excited for these phones. Hopefully you are too, and hopefully you enjoyed watching. I'll catch you later.